made it. Intel's museum. This is the place where all of their history is, all of the stuff that they've done, all of the innovations that they've made, all of the chips. Yeah, and this is this is the campus where they, they actually work still. Yeah, they're building. Right? This, this place was awesome. There's some cool history in here. Right? I got to, you know, now I'm spread, spelled my name in binary code. I've seen, I've seen the processor that's inside of my computer. Dude, this place is awesome. This, I was looking forward to this when she told me that it was here. Right? And, and you know what? It didn't disappoint me. It, it might have taken a couple hours to get here. It might have got lost a time or two. But dude, it was worth it was worth the effort. It was. Intel. If you ever get a chance, come check this stuff out. This is awesome. So we just spelled Brian's name in binary code on the screen here. You gotta punch in punch in the ASCII codes on these buttons, and then you gotta hit the enter key for each letter. Uh, you can clear it. That's cool stuff, dude. So this is about conductivity, Brian. Conductivity. Right. Who's that? Okay. Ah, this is cool. Go to the next material. Aluminum. I never even heard of this one. Ooh. I never even heard of this. Oops, I still just heard it. Look at my studio. Silver. Yeah, look at that, I got another one right. right. Let's go to the next thing here. The following are the largest of the five mass layers of the 4004 microprocessor. Metal, lead, metal leads and bond pads, contacts, transistor interconnects, buried contacts, and field implants. The 4004 contained only 2,300 transistors. Today's microprocessors are far more sophisticated, incorporating millions or billions of transistors and requiring 40, 40 layers. 4004. Dude, look at that, you can see to it. Wow, and then the first one, the first one is purple, and then you can see it from the side. Right? The first layer is purple, then red, then yellow, then, and they're all sandwiched together. This was the first one. And what the bottom it tells you what each layer is. Really? Ah, oh, man, that's cool. Do is you're looking at this spot in the middle, right? So they put my two fingers, I can zoom in. You lost it, baby. Look at that. And you can see up there where you're at. Oh, dude, look at this. Are you serious? Look at that. It gets even smaller. Ah. Oh. This is a magnification of the tip area that you see. It's about the size of a baker's yeast, the kind of yeast of bread. This part right here. The Intel transistor is still smaller than this. Look, it tells you down here. Yeah, it tells you how. Right? 12 million, 12 million nanometers is the size of the chip that I took it all the way down right here. That's 298,000. That's 68, 64,000. That is 7,000. That's as small as it goes, 3,000 nanometers. Dude, that's like... DNA molecules have a width of 2.5 nanometers. So this, this is... This is the die size of the 2012 processor. Are you serious? Dude, man, that's awesome. This is cooler than my phone. 100 times thinner than the hair. What is your height of pain in here? I just did. Man, this is cool stuff. So what are you standing in front of, Brian? I'm standing in front of one of Intel's clean suits. This is what the people wear when they're making the chips and all that stuff down there inside the labs. 
to just see this is a sequence. Drink, put it, take a drink of water, put on a hair net, put on shoe covers, put on the beard covers, they have facial hair, right? put on nylon growing gloves, wipe down any items that are to be carried in the clean room, put on a bunny suit, put on a belt, put on a hood, use a mirror to make adjustments, put on the booties, wipe down, dry, and put on safety glasses, put on the gloves, look in the mirror for a final check to make sure everything is properly attached and tucked in. Congratulations, you are now ready to enter the lab. Uh, this is all the different stuff. This is all the different stuff you got to put on. Right. I could actually probably do it right now. You know, if that. This is cool. He's making the chips right now. The wafers. Throw the little, and then the bag. Uh, look, here's the wafers over here. Uh, 300 millimeter wafer, second generation Intel Core processor. Uh, each 32 nanometer. I'm showing them this too. So I'm read all of them. Oh, Jesus. Awesome oh, This is the thing they put on the on the space probes. Not that. That's 2011. Static random access to memory. 50 billion bits per second. That's fast enough to download the entire HD movie in less than a second. Wow. 50 gigabits per second silicon photonic link. This right here was developed in 2010. So this is seven years later. You can imagine what they got now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to so, Brian, that Intel Atom, that's the one that was in the, nope, the MB305. Yeah, yeah, that one guy had the blue and silver one, one. This is one of my favorites, the slot. The yeah, slot. I like that. Computer. This one, the slot version of the Pentium 3, I had one that had two of those processors yeah. back in the day. I'd like to have another one of those MB305s. That was a bad computer. I mean, these are the old ones. 486. Yeah, that's 286. The 386. Dude, that's, that's these right here. I had a 386 DX2, or that was a 486 DX2, I think. Turn around. You got the Pentium 2 slot processor, the Pentium 3. Turn around, look at this. Look at this antique thing. Copy disks. Yeah. 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 They got technology for watches. The D8. Can the first continuous display watch circuit? It's the Altair. This is the one. This is the one that uh, Bill Gates created the basic interpreter for. Yeah. When they were in New Mexico. Oh, so this was the thing you were telling me about. You had to flip the switches up and down. Yeah. To, to program it. That was the motherboard. Right this there. came as a kit. You had to put it together yourself. Really? Yeah. This is in 1976. And this is the 8080. This is a very popular and uh, game-changing computer game -changing processor. Game -changing. And the microcontrollers, these are like Arduino boards and stuff, or microcontrollers. Really? So you can program them to switch things on and off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's all that stuff. Look at this thing. Look at this nasty, guys. I used one of these in school. Busycom circuit board. Look at that. The 4004 Intel. Forty-four. This was the first microprocessor chip. So that's what they were showing over here. Looks like a looks like an ice cream sandwich made out of gold. 